Russia's actions, including the atrocities committed against the innocent Ukrainians in Bucha, are re reprehensible, represent an unacceptable affront to the rules-based global order, and will have enormous economic repercussions in Ukraine and beyond. Treasury is committed to holding Russia accountable for its actions, so it cannot benefit from the international financial system. President Biden has rallied over 30 countries, representing well over half the world's economy, to impose swift, severe sanctions and export controls on Russia. Treasury is also working with our partners to block Russia from accessing benefits from the uh, international financial institutions. Both the World Bank and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development had ceased approving new financing for Russia since the unlawful annexation of Crimea in 2014. Since the invasion, these institutions have announced further measures to prevent Russia's and Belarus's access to financial and non-financial assistance. Spillovers from the crisis are heightening economic vulnerabilities in many countries that are already facing higher debt burdens and limited policy options as they recover from COVID-19. The IFIs will play a critical role in several areas. First, food security. Together, Russia and Ukraine account for nearly a third of the world's wheat exports. Russia's invasion disrupted the flow of food for millions of people around the world and caused prices to spike. The IFIs and food security funds are already working to address both the short-term and long-term effects of the invasion on global food prices and supplies. Second, energy security. The invasion of Ukraine has also underscored the need for sustainable, affordable, clean, and secure energy for economic growth and security for the United States, as well as for governments that partner with the EFIs. The MDB's promotion of energy efficiency and capital investment toward diverse energy sources like solar, wind, and other non-fossil fuel-based energy sources, and away from suppliers such as Russia, that strengthens energy security and reduces short-term fossil fuel price risks. Secretary Yellen, should Russia be removed from the G20? So President Biden's made it clear, and I certainly agree with him, that it cannot be business as usual in any, for Russia, in any of the financial institutions. He's asked that Russia be removed from the, the G20, yes. and I've made clear to um, my colleagues in Indonesia Good. that um, we, we will not be participating in um, a number of meetings if the Russians are Good. there. And 